Artifacts left behind by ancient civilizations are often in poor condition, deeply buried, and challenging to identify. Don't you agree? Nonetheless, some of these artifacts have the potential to alter our understanding of our place in history radically. But we have found some amazing finds made by archaeologists over the years from the outer world. Don't believe us? Some are enigmatic antiques that have yet to be explained or even fully identified. So let's have a look at some possible extraterrestrial artifacts only on a secret world. Let's begin. Archaeologists have determined that some of the earliest iron artifacts ever discovered were burial beads that were strung around bodies in an Egyptian graveyard that dates back 5,000 years. The beads came from outer space. The beads were found in 1911 by British archaeologists in the village of El Gerza in Lower Egypt that the metal inside the beads originated from a meteorite that crashed to Earth. It is possible that the dagger that Tutankhamun used came from outer space. Over 3,000 years ago, somebody discovered an odd rock and they fashioned a beautiful dagger out of it for the pharaoh. It had a gold handle and an intricate sheath that was decorated with a floral lily motif on one side and some feathers and a jackal on the other side of the sheath. When the tomb of Tutankhamun was uncovered in 1925, archaeologists discovered the dagger together with a miniature dagger with a crystal handle, elaborate bracelets, and amulets, as well as various rings and priceless jewels. In addition, they found the dagger, a unique sort of elemental analysis called X-ray fluorescence spectrometry, was utilized by scientists in 2016 to determine the composition of the blade. They discovered that it contained high quantities of nickel in this method. This finding, which was published in the journal Meteoritics and Planetary Science, provided conclusive evidence that the blade was fashioned from meteoric iron. In other words, the sword was fashioned from pieces of metal that had fallen from the heavens. The story of where the metal for the dagger came from is fascinating, but it's not because King Todd had a dagger that fell from space, as one headline falsely claimed. The dagger did not arrive on Earth from another planet, a rock did, and the ancient Egyptians for whatever reason considered it to be unique and significant. Working with meteoric iron is difficult, but there were certainly people in ancient Egypt who knew how to do it, which is very impressive, especially given the fact that there is a reduced number of iron things that have survived from that time period. According to the study's author on the dagger, the oldest discovered ancient Egyptian iron objects were also manufactured from meteoric iron. These items were nine little beads excavated from a tomb in Gursa. The authors claim that the beads had been hammered into thin sheets. Our result confirms that excavation of key burials, including those of King Tutankhamun, have discovered pre-Iron Age items of meteoritic origin, they said. The space dagger is fascinating for several reasons than just the dagger itself. It's true, it's a beautiful piece of old art that was crafted from material from another world. In addition, it is a relic that astonishingly hints at the presence of other iron things that date back before the Iron Age. But regardless of where it came from, the dagger is a constant reminder of the ancient Egyptians' intimate relationship with the night sky. Academics have been fascinated with this relationship for a very long time. In 1894, the pioneering Austro-archaeologist Norman Lockyer noted that Egyptian mythology is intensely astronomical. He also stated that Egyptian mythology crystallized early notions suggested by actual observations of the sun, moon, and stars. For decades, academics have argued over whether or not the alignment of the Great Pyramid of Giza and the positioning of its critical entrance was evidence of a sophisticated understanding of astronomy some 3,300 years ago. This discussion has been going on for decades. Many people believe that the pyramid was built in a way that its entrance was aligned with Thuban, considered the North Star, during that time. However, other astronomers believe that the orientation was most likely chosen for structural reasons rather than aesthetic ones. However, there is a wealth of further evidence that demonstrates the ancient Egyptians' preoccupation with the heavens. Obelisks, which were meant to depict petrified sunbeams, were built as a form of worship to honor the sun deity. In an article that was published in 2013 by Aeon Magazine, my colleague Ross Anderson wrote that in the pyramid texts, the precursors to the Egyptian Book of the Dead, or as it's sometimes translated, the Book of Emerging into the Light, the circumpolar stars are eternal gods. 
This was a quote from Anderson's article. This is despite the fact that early Egyptians worshipped the sunrise. An image of three stars was frequently employed to symbolize gods in ancient forms, in ancient forms of writing known as hieroglyphics. Tutankhamun did not succeed in ascending to the sky in his earthly form and bringing all of his glistening possessions with him, at least not ultimately. Approximately 30 centuries after he passed away, the daggers that were buried with them were discovered fastened to a girdle around his mummified body. Today, a weapon that is 3,300 years old and forged from meteoric iron is significant because it is a convincing link to a distant past. It also serves as a reminder of ancient people's celestial aspirations that are still strikingly similar to those of modern people. The search for meaning in life has been a preoccupation of the human race for millennia and possibly for the duration of our species existence. An alien stone. According to the findings of a recent study, an extraterrestrial stone discovered in Egypt several decades ago may represent proof of an ancient star explosion. Scientists believe it may be the earliest evidence on Earth of an explosion in a supernova known as a standard candle. Standard candle supernovas, also known as type A supernovas, derive their name from the fact that they burn brightly and continuously, making them appear to astronomers to be similar to candles. When one white dwarf star devours another, a huge explosion is produced. These explosions are known as supernovae. The Hypatius stone, believed to have originated in Egypt, is today believed by scientists to be evidence of a supernova that occurred billions of years ago. In 1996, researchers in the Egyptian desert made the discovery. A recent analysis of its chemical composition reveals that it could have originated from the dust and gas that surrounded a supernova when it occurred. It would take billions of years for dust and gas in space to combine into a space rock since they had first to fuse together. In a sense, we could say that we have caught a supernova type A explosion in the act said geochemist Jan Kramers from the University of Johannesburg in South Africa. This is because the gas atoms from the explosion were caught in the surrounding dust cloud, which eventually formed Hypatia's parent body. That projectile would be fired out into space by Hypatia until it collided with the atmosphere of Earth, where it could catch fire and disintegrate before landing as a pebble somewhere in Egypt. According to the findings of recent research that was just published in the journal Icarus, the rock may have not been produced in the inner solar system. Its unique chemical composition sets it apart from other rocks that often travel through space on their way to or from Earth. According to Kramers, the Hypatia stone would be the first concrete evidence on Earth of a supernova type A explosion if this proposal is right. Kramers continued by saying, perhaps equally as important, it indicates that an isolated aberrant parcel of dust from outer space could actually be incorporated in the solar nebula that our solar system was generated from without being totally mixed in. That's it for the video. If you want to see more videos like this one, remember to give us a like and subscribe for more.